note that was given to me by Roger Wilkenfeld, an old pal of Dax. Can't get out of his chair these days, so he can't come here. Anyway, for Suzanne and Joe, this is from Roger. Of course, I'm sorry I can't be with you. Jack is certainly vividly uh, with me. I loved him uh, partly because he was hardly in any way ordinary. I spent a lot of time in his office talking about poetry, although the word talking, this is true, this is the truth of it, doesn't really do just <laughs> what those visits were like. I, I might begin with an idea, and Jack would take it and make it into a lecture. I often thought I should bring something like notes. Take, take notes. Uh, this, uh, he, his life was uh, centered in the life of the mind, and what a mind he had, and what a memory. There were also his many enduring, endearing peculiarities hopeless efforts to shop for himself, <laughs> his habit, habit of breaking, of bending cards at poker. He <laughs> became known over the years, we played together as El Bendo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when he uh, won, he couldn't resist replaying the winning hand to the consternation of the he was also the messiest person I've ever known. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, somehow something never awoke to the idea of neatness. Yet he always made one feel welcome in his study, uh, library, living room, stretching out on the sofa, not feeling too guilty about uh, having another fall off. He was most of all a great friend, and I shall miss him greatly. And that's from Roger. And I just have a couple of remarks that Jack uh, to, to said. Our first friend, and the house we live in to this day was because Jack and Doris knew Heinz Hermann, who was a scientist. We wanted to be closer to his laboratory at the university, so we wanted to move into stores. And so we got the house which we now own uh, because we got it before it was on the market. Um, I want to tell about the time I saved his life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't always, but I would put it sometimes. And one time, we used to go over to Eastford, and we would uh, have uh, meals at Eastford, very cheap, good yes. meals. The cook had a great trivet collection. A trivet collection. I bet you nobody knows what a trivet collection Well, it's a vines. But anyway, uh, we also had much to drink. And we came back to our house. With pen. With better and I happened, because I was teaching graduate school, to have some marijuana that was kindly given to me by one of my students. <laughs> and uh, so we all got that. We were not practiced smokers, <laughs> but we all lit up. And we, did, and I'm not sure we, did. But we all did, and uh, Jack said, <laughs> say mon métier. It's a very like Jack to say a remark, make a remark like that. And say mon métier. <laughs> and then he turned purple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I took him into the downstairs party. And I held his forehead. And I said, throw up your Jack. And he was going both ways. And so I just turned him around and all that. <laughs> Good care of him. The thing I want is also because I was high on marijuana. <laughs> I not only was expert in my care for Jack, saving his life, but also I could see the cosmic humor. <laughs> At the same time, it was the best high I've ever had. <laughs> cosmic humor went up. And so that was a happy time. And as I say, there were probably other times I saved his life, but that was about what I called him. And I didn't do it this time, damn it. But uh, we all miss him.